one, you'll also need to know the units um, for all of these quantities. So for example, if there's an answer that's got a numerical value, uh, the unit comes after it. So that's, for example, 20 seconds. This is what the unit is called. So that's our first one. Uh, time is always measured in seconds. If it's in minutes or if it's in hours, uh, you should be able to convert it into seconds. Uh, next one, we've got kilograms. Now, really important, I know it's got kilo in it. You don't convert it to grams. You leave as it is, okay? So it should be in kilograms already. Speed or velocity is in meters per second. Work or energy have the same units in joules. Uh, force is measured in newtons. Power, what is the unit of power exactly? Uh, it is the watt. Um, current is measured in amps or amperes. Amps is almost always absolutely fine. Uh, potential difference or voltage is measured in volts. Resistance is measured in ohms, or the symbol is that omega shape. Charge is measured in coulombs. So don't get these electrical ones mixed up because it's easy to do that. Density is measured in kg slash m to the power three kilograms per unit uh, per meter cubed. Um, it could also be in grams per centimeter cubed. Um, just be aware of what the question is asking for. Specific heat capacity is joules per kg degrees Celsius. Latent heat is joules per kg, just as it is. And activity is measured in becquerels, or BQ for short. Uh, now, these two, uh, three equations down here, if you ever forget their units, you can use an equation to work it out. So for example, if you know latent heat, the equation for this is E equals M times L. Uh, rearrange it for L, uh, which is E divided by M. E, hopefully we should know, is energy. M is kg, so therefore it's joules per kilogram which is mentioned down here. Now there are extra couple of ones which you might be asked, they're more paper too, um, but gravitational field strength or G is in newtons per kg um, and you'll have spring constant does come in to um, paper one as well, that's measured in newtons per meter. There's also frequency because the frequency of UK power supply um, which is in hertz or hz. These prefixes, do you know if your physics paper one exam? Most people will know that a kilo is a thousand or 10 to the power of three, um, like for example, a kilometer. Lots of people know that a centimeter is a hundredth or 10 to the power minus two, and a milli is a thousandth or a one uh, 10 to the power minus three. However, you need to know all of them. Now, if you remember them in this order, then the uh, standard form version of each one makes sense. Now, a mega um, is a capital M, which is 10 to the power six or one million. So for example, a mega joule is one million joules. Giga is the next one up. Uh, that's a thousand times bigger. So that is a billion um, or one with nine zeros on the end. And a tera is massive. 10 is 10 to the power 12, uh, which is uh, obviously a thousand billion, which the zeros are not even going to put on my screen here. Okay. I'm um, going to the smaller ones. Um, once you get to past milli, a micro is 10 to the power minus six meters, um, which is obviously a really, really, really small number. Uh, and then you've got nano, which is 10 to the power minus nine. And now it is much, 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 much easier uh, to remember these ones here. Because if you look at the powers of 10, if you go tera, giga, mega, kilo, it goes 12, 9, 6, 3. So if you've got a scientific calculator, it makes your life easier. Have a look at the bigger ones. You're going to, uh, sorry, the smaller ones, you've got uh, minus 3, minus 6, minus 9. There is also pico, um, which I haven't seen asked on GCSE, but I could come up, which is 10 to the power minus 12. Um, of something as well. So make sure you know these, there's at least three, four, five marks at stake in each of your physics papers just for learning these prefixes.